What's going on, Soul Nation? Ginger Prime here, and I wish this was coming at you in better ways. This is, for the life of me, an unmitigated disaster. One that is really, really unfortunate. And while we've been covering it and how to get you the refunds, and again, if you are still trying to look to get your refund, uh, there's some new links. I'll include them in the description of this video, and I wish you the best of luck, obviously, getting that refund from Sony. But it is clear right now that this is just, a, if not, uh, you know, obviously a disaster, at least at a minimum, historic. And I know by just saying that that term, as strong as it is, uh, it's going to have some weird nerds jumping out there to def defend uh, CDPR in this case, or at the least to say, well, it runs great on PC, PlayStation players should have known. And I've seen that a lot in the comments, and there's that's going to come up again here in this video, but I want to kind of cover the news because this is just unbelievably mind-blowing to me because I don't remember a time where we've seen this. I'm sure that there's been a game pulled from a play from a store uh, at some point due to some issues, but at a level that is cyberpunk, at the hype level that is cyberpunk, and a game that obviously where I think they bit themselves in their own butts in this case because you see earlier, it'll be, it'll be done when it's done. It's ready when it's ready, and it clearly is not ready. IGN, many other sites are reporting this, but essentially the quote goes, uh, you know, Sony strives to ensure high levels of customer satisfaction, and therefore we will begin to offer full refunds for all gamers who have purchased Cyberpunk 2077 via the PlayStation Store. Sony will also be removing Cyberpunk 2077 from the PlayStation Store until further notice. Once we have confirmed that you have purchased Cyberpunk 2077 via the PlayStation Store, we will begin processing your refund. Please note uh, the completion of the refund may vary based off your payment method and financial institution. So there is hope for all of you out there on the base PlayStation uh, to get a, a refund. I would bet that we'll probably see something maybe like this along the lines with Xbox. I bet Microsoft might also follow suit, especially having kind of a unified front. This is going to be interesting to see how it plays out because earlier in this week, if you guys have not uh, seen any of my coverage previously, uh, earlier this week, I obviously CDPR issued a quote-unquote apology, which honestly, I think it's a good move. We we should give them some credit. Uh, and they put out an email saying like, hey, you can email us if the stores won't work with you. But we continually saw mass and mass and mass rejections from Sony and from Xbox based off of their current refund policy. So this is seemingly clear that obviously uh, the base models are not working. The other conversation, and I don't want to touch on it too much, maybe we need to explore it more in another video, is that this just means they should have dropped base PlayStation and base Xbox. And I'd love to know your thoughts if you guys are pro for that or con for that. Uh, personally, for me speaking, I definitely am con, but I've been moving more pro over the course of this last week, especially as it relates to Halo and other games that are coming down the pipeline. Now, ultimately, I'm not going to sit here and state one way or another de factually that it should or should not have done so, but the I, I want to address at this time uh, an issue that I see uh, around this um, concept because, again, I think this is a very disastrous uh, launch for the game. I think that it shows a lot of weaknesses, a lot of problems within the game industry as a whole. And what I mean by that is that as somebody myself has been playing this game and having a decent experience outside of the bugs, uh, the, the game runs. Like I, I've been playing on Stadia. I hear people with a high-end PC have had, had issues, you know, spending, you know, some odd $2,000. And then I see the argument, uh, which essentially lacks the mindset of a little bit of empathy of saying, oh, that... PlayStation players should have known, Xbox players should have known, what do they expect, they're on a console, they're on, you know, they're, they're less than us PC gamers, they're less than us, you know, other gamers, and I, I just want to kind of address that mindset for a little bit, and I know this is probably going to, um, you know, <laughs> this is probably going to raise that dislike button, slam it guys, I don't give a crap if you, if you disagree with me, and that's the way you want to vent it, but be sure to let me know in the comments. Uh, and, and below, it doesn't bother me whatsoever. It's your choice. All right. Um, I, I think that as gamers, that like one of the weaknesses that Cyberpunk's launch has shown us clearly through this statement, clearly through everything we've seen over the last couple weeks is how the game industry has torn itself apart. Like people going out of their way to defend this game, having not played it, but believed what it was or what it could potentially be based off the pedigree. Nothing wrong with saying, hey, this, this de publisher, this developer has a great track record. I can trust them uh, in this way. But to go on the attack and attack people for their views. We've seen people even, you know, boldly posting a seven on this game 
being like diminished and attacked. And you might think that, okay, well, they deserved it for some reason. I, I like us to, as a culture, as a society, as a, as, as a community that, that label themselves gamers to kind of rethink that mindset because now we've seen that shift. We've seen over the last week, like a 180. And I've seen some people going like, can we just back off CDPR now? They've, you know, like, you know, it's okay to make mistakes. And I agree with that. Like, I don't, I don't agree essentially with the, like the blind defense of a game before having played it. Uh, you know, in a way that like, I believe it's going to be amazing. Therefore, if anybody kind of says anything bad about it, I'm, I'm going to close my ears. And then on the flip side, I also say like, yeah, like we should be able to say like, okay, yeah, they messed up. Like they did not release the, the, the game that was promised. And it's very clear, obviously that was the case. And so do they deserve the, the, the refund request? Absolutely. The fact that they went out and said it, I'm really pleased with Sony going that direction right now and saying it. But like I said, the core of this, I think it also shows weakness within our own culture as part of gaming uh, together. It's almost impossible to talk about games in a critiquing way um, because games kind of almost in a way evolve into something else entirely, uh, like for lack of a better word, a deity in this way. And it's only when like that, that deity does this wrong are we allowed to kill it. And we are allowed to attack it. And then it's like you kind of get this bandwagon effect. So in both ways, there's been a lot of wrong this last week. In both ways, there's just a lot of things that it's like, crap, that sucks. And then for me, coming back uh, and looking at it myself, somebody who was able to play this game, able to have a good experience with this game. I think one of the craziest things about this is this just proves the concept of Stadia. So many people have gone to Google Stadia over this last week because that's somewhere you can play for free you just purchase the game and they even had to pull their their promotion of getting a free controller and a free like you know chromecast like the premium bundle basically they're giving away a hundred dollars for every 60 that they made in the game so they're losing 40 bucks each time plus probably a little bit more and they had to stop that early because just the sheer rush of people just saying f it i'm done so that in and of itself is kind of interesting where I hope that if nothing else, if nothing from this message and this news that you take away from me is that if you're having a good experience, it's okay if somebody isn't having a good experience as well. It's okay that, uh, and we shouldn't have to sit here and say like their critique and their frustration over the game is invalid because you're having a good time. And I'm, the more I play cyberpunk, the more I'm impressed by it outside the box. Like it is such a real thing that really ultimately frustrates me. And, I, and honestly, to the point where I don't know what the hell was wrong with IGN and their review system. Like that nine out of whatever is complete BS. I don't know where they got that out. Like, were they scared to lower it? Were they scared to, too afraid because of the, of the backlash to give it an eight, to give it a seven? Like, how can you score something so high? And that in and of itself shows just how broken our review system is in this world. So like when we come down to it, just the sheer fact of numbers in itself, I, I have to default to ACG. Like I love what he does. He, awesome guy. He's been on this channel before. We've done a couple collabs. Awesome dude. And outside of the fact that like he's just a cool guy and we've been able to collab a couple times, like literally I'm going to say like his buy weight you know, rent or whatever, a, <laughs> uh, or rent or game pass or like never touch like his system of reviews. I think that is essentially almost really where the, the, the narration needs to go outside of some theoretical score in which that we try to sit here and compare eight of apples to oranges and say that they gave this like how, like if you were going to say like cyberpunk is a nine on IGN scale, like that, that almost in my mind just a little like belittles all any other reviews that they've got on their site historically just based off of everything we're we're seeing and that t that tells me the whole the pr system the whole uh you know like <laughs> DN dna no it's the uh nda <laughs> dyslexia uh that that whole system of keeping people quiet and ha only showing your best and like there's nothing wrong with putting your best foot forward but this is a clearly a failure on all levels it's an unmitigated disaster from cdr pr's perspective i think somebody i saw report they've lost over a billion dollars and this just shows that everybody was wrong in this whole situation. Like the people who are making death threats to CDPR, like release the game. Like, I wonder where they are now. Are they still making those same threats? Are they still as angry as individuals hoping or holding on to some form of belief that this is going to be, uh, you know, I guess the, the Jesus of all video games to ever come out and like brighten your day. And the other thing that sucks about all of this, and this is just my final thought. And if you've been, you made it all the way to this, I don't know. 
just leave a thumbs up on the uh, in a comment or something. Um, Final thought is just like, this sucks. Like, this is just a, such a crappy ass way to end 2020. And my hope is, is that if you're enjoying this game, you're not dissuaded or discerned or, or turned off by these words that I've just expressed to you. But if this is a frustration for you, hopefully you're able to get your money back and you're able to do something fun with it, whether it's to go jump into like a, you know, GeForce Now because uh, you can stream that as well if you wanted to pick it up on Steam or if you wanted to play on Stadia. Because I think essentially one of the things that's clearly that shows us about our industry is that, like, especially this year, like, not everybody's got crazy money. Not everybody can find an Xbox or a PS5. Not everybody can have a high-end gaming PC that can just power through this game so it will run for you. Not everybody has what you have. And some people have lost a lot this year. And I think that if maybe we just take a step back, practice a little bit, a little bit, a little bit in this case, uh, of empathy towards gamers who are frustrated, and note that like critiquing a game isn't a personal attack on each other. Like maybe we can get better from this. But at the end of the day, like I, I think here in a couple of weeks, this will all be behind us. There'll be something else for us to be hyped about. There'll be something else for us to believe in. And that seems to be the way that this all goes. And I, for one, I just hope that you're having a daggum good time. I just really hope that you're having fun with this game. And if you're not, hope you get your money back. And hopefully CDPR can live up to their pedigree and get this game right. I think they will. I, I know that people will sound off in the comments saying like, oh, I believe CDPR is going to turn this around. I'm rooting for them. But I'm also at the same point, like as somebody who roots for, for developers, like there is a sense, a little bit of fatigue, I guess, maybe in this year. And at the same time in like rooting for games to turn around, like maybe we, hopefully we can get back to a point where games just launch when they're ready and that's it. And we don't have to do this song and dance and I don't have to make these kinds of videos and I can sit down and I can just tell you about what the hell I'm enjoying about games. And you can tell me I'm an idiot. And that's the fun part of all of this whole thing that we call YouTube and we call the content creation we call gaming in 2020. Guys, be good to get each other out there. Love each other. Love each other in the comments. Uh, you know, it's not about, like, I've never seen anybody change anybody's mind with, a, like, a well, you know, quipped comment or an insult. But, you know what, like, sometimes these videos go a little bit wide. And, you know, that's okay. So if you're new here to the community, you feel like for some reason I've earned this subscription, you can hit that subscribe button. You let me know if you do. And I can welcome you officially to the Soul Nation but if you don't like this content, like, I, I don't know what, what to say. I wish you all the best. I thank you for all your dislikes out there. And I, uh, and I, all, I all I can tell you is I love you, and I hopefully we'll see you again. But until then, take care. This video is sponsored by me, Ginger Prime. Hopefully you'll check out my podcast channel, Ginger Gaming Radio, which we have lots of guests, lots of great conversations, and even more highlights. Links are in the description below. Let me know what you think. Thanks.